This is the Weather Extreme video for Friday morning, August 30th, getting set to sail into a holiday weekend. Labor Day going to be hot and muggy, maybe a few scattered storms around, and hey, next week, a nice, cool air mass seems to be ready to settle in here. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at about 5 o'clock. That's a Birmingham Skycam looking down into Regions Field. The uh, Barons will be out there playing tonight. Beck, they'll be in the... Uh, uh, playoffs at the end of next week. Look at the Inverness Sky Cam overlooking Highway 280 and the Alabama Gulf Coast. If you're beach bound for the Labor Day weekend, weather not bad, we'll project about seven to nine hours of sun down there each day with a few scattered storms, but don't think rain will be a serious problem. Upper high west of the state, and that's where the hottest weather can be found. We note the areas around Dallas-Fort Worth and uh, Waco. They hit triple digits yesterday. Looks like a pocket of triple digit heat over parts of Nebraska. But again, that axis stays off to the west. We saw low 90s yesterday. We're expecting similar heat over the weekend. Heat advisories up for much of Iowa and some of the adjacent states and also around Dallas and Fort Worth in Texas. Severe weather, a little bitty slight risk up around North Dakota today. And tomorrow, no formal risks. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Wednesday morning of next week, and this is showing about one inch. And uh, we'll see the hit and miss scattered showers and storms in here over the weekend and early next week. Tropical weather. The uh, wave in the central Atlantic not doing much. Again, it's kind of void of convection. The one coming off the coast of Africa looks good. The Hurricane Center has a high percentage of that becoming a tropical system over the next uh, several days, but uh, this is a high-latitude system, and more than likely uh, that's going to recurve off into the open Atlantic and not be a problem for the United States. The uh, models do want to bring it up to a tropical storm strength, but more than likely that's not going to be an issue other than for the ships at sea. Let's take a look at the GFS. This is the global forecast system, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. Upper highs west of the state and moving west. And down below that, the air loft should be a little cooler today. And that could open the door for a few little hit and miss uh, showers this evening. Let's look at the high res NAM, valid at 7 o'clock, right about the time the high school football games kick off. And there's not much out there. Um, you know, I'd say the chance of any one spot getting a shower about 1 in 5, so it should not be a big problem. What about that weekend, you asked? This is tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock, and uh, again, the high-res NAM looking a little more active with uh, convection, but still, it's not going to rain everywhere. Just be aware that uh, you know there could be a storm in spots. We've got Auburn you know, playing a game at uh, 6 o'clock, and that does show evidence of some convection uh, down in, around Lee County. So uh, if you're uh, going to attend that game, just be aware of storm or a shower possible, mainly during the first half. And again, low 90s are likely for the high. Here's Sunday, back to the GFS. Again, same deal, mixture of clouds and sunshine. A few spots snagging an afternoon shower. Monday of next week, you can see the pattern beginning to evolve nicely with a ridge in the west and a trough in the east. And down below that, a surface boundary is north of us. Still a chance a few scattered showers and storms about. And then Tuesday, the dry air begins to move in. Uh, by midday Tuesday, this is suggesting... The uh, dry air covers about the northern third of the state. So on Tuesday, the better chance of scattered storms will be south of Birmingham, south of I-20. And Wednesday, look at that nice continental air dropping in here. And man, I like to see those colors. If you're a cool weather fan, refreshingly cool air mass, temperatures way below average. That should get us down in the 50s by Wednesday and Thursday morning of next week. Highs only, probably low 80s, low humidity. It's going to feel so nice. There's Thursday, we're still in dry air, and a week from today still looks dry. We'll check the end of the forecast, September the 17th. The westerlies are up north, and down below that uh, pretty typical mid-September weather. A few hit-and-miss showers and storms are possible. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening, on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.